Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. Building websites for free using Google Sites. Let me show you a really simple way to create a free website. We're going to use Google Sites, which is a free app from Google. And it's available on your Google account. Everyone has access to this, so you could do this for personal websites, you could do this for work websites, school websites. I'll show you the entire process step by step. To access Google Sites, all you have to do is go to sites.google.com and log in into your Google account. Now, once you jump into the website here, press the plus sign to create a website. If you have one here that kind of fits what you're trying to do, these are a little bit easier to get started with because someone's already created the design for you. So look through some of these templates. In this case, I'm just going to show you with a plus sign and how to create a website completely free from scratch. And it's fully customizable. So let's go ahead and click this. Now, the very first step is typically you want to go ahead and name your site over here. So this will be saved to your Google Drive. And as you can see, it also appears over here. What you could do, you could also add a logo. And if you have a business, for example, and you already have a logo, go ahead and click here to add a logo. But this is completely optional. You could just go ahead and name the site whatever you want over here. This is editable as well. Okay, so here's the layout of your website. Right on top, you have this header right here. So this is going to be the big title for your website. So you can name this whatever you want. But this is the first thing people typically see is this big text over here. Anytime you type in any text like this, it's going to give you this menu bar where you could go ahead and change all kinds of different things. So you could go ahead and change the font. For example, you could change the font style, font size. All those are available here. Next, you may want to change the background. So if you click right here, when you have these type of backgrounds, it's going to let you choose all kinds of different styles. So you could kind of change how this looks entirely. So you can see all these different kind of template options to change this top banner here. And then if you want to change the image that is in the background right over here, you could go ahead and upload your own image as well. So I can upload an image just like this. And it's going to become the new background. The next thing you want to do is once you get your top banner right, you want to add another content block. So you need to add something in the second section of your website. And if you go to the insert section, they have these different content blocks that make it really easy to design your web page. So this one has an image and then text to the right. This one has two images and the text on the bottom. So if I click this one, it's going to add this section for me. Now, if you press the plus sign, you can upload images from your computer here. You can select images from your Google Drive as well. So if you have images saved to your Google Drive, you could pull it from here. You could also add a YouTube link from here too. You could directly turn this into a video. All you have to do is press YouTube, type in a link. So I have this video, for example, how to create a podcast on Substack. So I could go ahead and select this. And then this is going to be added like this. And it's going to pull the thumbnail from YouTube here as well. And then I could type in the header. Then right here, I could give it a little bit of description. And this is going to be your first section over here. If you want to add another section, all you have to do is go over here and click. And it's going to add it right to the bottom of the previous section. Now, if you want to remove a section, all you have to do is click that section and press delete. And it's going to remove that entire section. Now, besides these content blocks, you could also add things like this. So image carousel, for example, if I click on it, it's going to let me insert a bunch of images here. I need at least two. Let me show you what that looks like. I added four over here. And if I insert them, they basically turn into a carousel where I could see these little dots. So it's going to go from one image to another image when someone is previewing this. And then I could go ahead and place this somewhere where it makes sense for this page. So all I need to do is drag it and place it somewhere in the middle. You could see this kind of snaps into place. So this looks like the center of the page and it is going to become the little carousel where people could go between these different images. That's available over here. And also you have different things like dividers. If you click on a divider, it's going to create a little separation. You also have things like buttons. So if you want to send someone to a specific website, you could type in the website URL here and the name and press insert. And it's going to look just like this. Then if you want to move this, this alignment just centers it in this box. But you could just move it like this. And you could also move it to a different section of the website too. You could actually move it up and bring it over here. And it's going to put it over here. Down here, you could also add a footer section. 
So if you click this, it's going to let you put a footer section. And if you want to do a copyright and the name of your company, for example, you could go ahead and do that. And it's going to appear down here and the footer. You could also change what the footer looks like. So if you select this section, you'll get this little icon over here. If you select it, you could actually go ahead and upload an image as a background. Or you could choose a style like this, where you change the color of the background. If you don't like any of these colors that it's choosing, by the way, we just have to go to the theme and change your theme. So the themes have pre-designed colors here. But if you want to change any of them, so if I want to change that red, for example, to something more gray, I could choose gray. And you can see it's turning that section into gray. In this case, I'm going to just go ahead and make it black here. So this is going to allow you to create a web page. Again, inserting all these kind of different elements here to kind of create your web page. You can always use templates to make the design a little bit easier. If you go to this pages section, what you could do is you could add other pages. So right now we only have one page, but if you create a new page, let's say this and about us page, I could type that in, press done. And now I have a brand new page. It still pulls the banner from the other page just to make your website consistent. And it creates a little menu on the top. So you have your home page now and you have your about page and it's created that text for us. And if you change the background on this page, it's going to pull a whole new background over here. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and reset it. And if I reset it, it's going to pull the original image we had. So the home page has the image we uploaded. The about page has the default image over here. And I could create all the different section of this page. All I have to do is go to insert here. And then I have all these different options that I could just pull into this section. I could even pull things from Google Docs and Google Slides and Google Sheets as well to kind of create the rest of this page. And you could keep making more pages here. If you just press the plus sign here, you could go ahead and create more pages. And you also have other options of adding a whole new menu section too to add different sections like this to your menu on top. Now, a couple of things I could do if I'm happy with this, I could go ahead and click this plus icon right here with a person. This is going to allow me to share it with other people. I just have to invite them here and they could make revisions to it. I could also press right here to go ahead and just kind of preview it full screen and just kind of see what I need to change here to make sure all these images look good and things like that. This is how it looks like on tablet mode. And this is how it looks like on phone mode. If you're happy with the result, you could just press publish right over here. And then it's going to allow you to create a website at sites.google.com. And then the rest of the website is where the name is going to go. And it's going to say sites.google.com slash view slash whatever you put the end here. That's going to become the URL that you could copy and paste. For more advanced users, you could also create your own domain here, which you gotta buy. Then that's going to let you link this to not just sites.google.com, but whatever your website name is. Then once you have something that no one else has, this has to be a unique URL like this. You could go ahead and press publish. Now, once your website is published, you get this link right over here. So you could copy the link of this website and this is the link that is created for us. And that's it. So this is how to create a website for free using Google Sites. By following these steps, you can create a functional and visually appealing website using Google Sites without any cost. It's a perfect solution for personal projects, small businesses, and nonprofits looking to establish an online presence quickly and efficiently. Before we end, let me introduce to you the world's fastest and 100% mobile responsive builder. Create landing pages, funnels, lead pages, memberships, corporate sites, and more in just a few clicks. Build your successful online business without breaking a sweat. Create beautiful web pages. Click and modify, no coding required. Create funnels with upsells, downsells, and order bumps. Grab leads and send emails. Supports all major payment gateways and memberships. 30 plus ready-made funnel and opt-in templates. Email marketing using inbuilt autoresponder. Membership system to create free or paid memberships. Easy one-click install, no coding or knowledge of hosting required. So get Cloud Funnels now. Just go to your next funnel.in. If you found this video helpful, 
Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.